stand by. Stand by. Stand by. So some of the things we're working on here is the holster draw analysis. We put the Mantis X10 and the Smart Firearms Training Device paired together. We've put it in the holster analysis mode. And I'm instructing her that I want her to, on the at the queue of the Mantis X app, I want her to go for a grip, clear, rock and lock, smack, look, and as she presses the sights out and she sees them align, to press the trigger in one continuous trigger press, not putting her finger on the trigger until her sights are aligned, she's ready to fire. If she screws that up and she puts her trigger finger on the trigger beforehand, the smart firearms training device is gonna yell at her and it's gonna let out that beep noise. So let's do that real quick. Do it wrong. Whoa, don't do that. Okay? so. To simplify the draw stroke, not everybody understands grip. In the grip component, we want to defeat all retention devices. She's working out of just a, a, a compression Kydex holster, so there's no switches or, or releases. But if there was, this is the step where you defeat all those devices. You want the right grip on the gun in the holster. So the correct grip for shooting occurs in the holster, right? So grip, clear, Get the gun, the, the muzzle clear of the holster, and then we go to that rock and lock where we're turning the gun and side alignment should start to occur if we're close to a, a target or, or, you know, like seven yards and in, rock and lock, side alignment should start to be occurring. And then, so grip, clear, rock and lock, and then smack. Drive the hands together into a proper two-handed grip. Press the gun, push it out. And as it comes out, if you're pressing it out correctly, you should see the front sight and, and the rear sight's gonna pop up and it's gonna be side alignment occurring if you got the right grip on the gun and your presentation is correct. So grip, clear, rock and lock, smack, look. And at that look phase, we should be beginning to press the trigger. And as you get to full extension, that's about that moment based on distance, you would be finishing the press and the shot would break. So. To simplify all that, since you know those are all the skill steps, when you go to draw the gun, I want this hand, your support hand, to just come up towards your neck area. And when you draw the gun, bring the gun up, meet the hands together, press out, find your sights, press the trigger. And that's what you're going to do. But we're going to do that at the prompting of the app. So we're going to get this started. And we're going to do a holster draw analysis for the X10 Elite. And it was set up for dry fire, right hand, and we've got it mounted forward, and we're going to hit start. So stand holster by. this firearm, stand by, here we go. So it took a little too long to press the trigger. Trust yourself for a good trigger press. Stand by. Make sure that when you go to draw the gun, your left hand, your support hand, is coming up to that Stand high by. point where the hands will naturally come together. There you go. Good job. Stand by. Now, there's no time restraint on holstering, is there? Nope. Nobody said, hey, you got to hurry and reholster. Stand by. So, get this one more. Now slow down, look around, then reholster at your speed. The app isn't forcing you to go fast. I want you to choose how fast Stand you reholster. By. Hands together, one to your chest, one to your gun. Put them together, press out, press, press, good job. There you go, good job slowing down and looking around. Left hand to your chest, high chest. Stand by. Good. So now we're going to see what it's got to tell us. So we're going to hit stop. Stand by. So it's got each shot 
with a breakdown of times that it took, how your grip was, the pull of it, the rotation of coming up to side alignment, you're getting on target and the shot itself, and it, it's analyzing each one of these little settings. It's also telling her what's happening. We're back to trigger press. And now that we've added the element of she's trying to be fast and coming out of the holster and up on on target, we're seeing more movement on her shots. It actually looks great though. Thanks, pal. There we go. There so there's your pathway. Mm -hmm. So you're actually pretty consistent. So it comes up, you swing it out a little bit. Your muzzle comes up a little higher than it should, which actually I was saying to you off camera a second ago, so you were fly fishing it, kind of doing this with the presentation mm -hmm. instead of up and pressing straight out. And we could eliminate that upwards and down and then the red mm -hmm. during the shot. So a lot of analysis going on here with the shots. And you're I also seeing it. where your time, I'm sorry, go ahead. Let's see if I fixed it on the later one after you told me. Uh, it, got, it was worse at the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, nope. I love that it actually gives you some real-time information as far as um, how long it's taking you for your draws. So shot for, for stimulus of go to getting it up on target real consistently under three seconds or right at three seconds. Um, we, I'd like that to be a little bit faster, but um, just kind of given the idea that lethal threat encounters under three seconds, you want to get as many shots. Yards. Yeah, three, three yards, seconds. three seconds, three rounds. But uh, exceptional job. Good job. So we're hit reset. Hit start. Stand Let's by. Do a couple more and see if you can improve on that. <clears throat> Taking a little bit too long to get on the trigger. Trust yourself Stand to take by. up slack while you're pressing out. <clears throat> Much better. So let's just break that one down. Whew, that was Stand good, by. bud. What was that? One, oh, I said stop. So that shot was 193. Huh. So I beat the other guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, 185 and a 193. Those were both really good. And I liked you didn't have a whole lot of effort lost during the trigger process. Awesome. All right, so now we're going to do the holster draw analysis with live fire. We're using the SIG P320. We're using a... Uh, my brain just P320. went blank. Right, but we are using the holster. It is the Ragnarok holster from um, T-Rex or Trex. I have no idea what the proper way to say it is. But uh, we're going to do the holster draw analysis with the Mantis X10 on it. Uh, we're going to be shooting the Mojo Riot three-dimensional target with the half point target stand and should do really well because you got the tactical platypus thing going <laughs> on on your hearing protection and we're going to set it to holster draw analysis and we've got it all set hit the start button stand by stand by can you hear it mm -hmm. all right Live. Hold it down, look around. Slow yourself down, holster. Okay, good. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Sure those hands come together at the chest, okay? Mm -hmm. We're gonna keep using that Mantis X10 and we're gonna use it in the live fire mode and open training. So just come on up and shoot a couple rounds and do your best trigger presses, okay? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and go when you're ready. Good draw. Do it again. Just keep the gun out. Keep it out? Yep. Helps if I hit start. Tap rack. Nope, just keep on going. Mm. 
little anticipation, buddy. Mm -hmm. Tightened your grip during the shot. Good shot. Good shot. A little pushing forward, breaking reset. A little bit of anticipation. Don't slap the trigger. Make sure you do that trigger reset. And your slide lock. Good job. Just go and holster it up oh. just like that. What like do you think? This? You like that gun? You haven't really shot it yet. No, I haven't. What'd you think? I like it. Good. So your last shot was unfortunately one of your worst. Yeah. Can you hold that for me? Poopy. Let's take an analysis. See see what was going on. Well, my thumb was off in my grip. I don't know what that caused, but it was definitely off. And touch that and it'll tell you what, what you're doing. Pushing forward. It's just a little Part bit of anticipation. anticipation. Shooting that little gun earlier. Okay, and what'd you do here? Tightening your grip while you're pressing the trigger. Mm -hmm. So it's another form of anticipation. So what we want is we want to make sure our grip doesn't do this while we're doing this. So this has got to be independent of mm -hmm. this. And one Check time one you out. did a slap of the trigger. No, <laughs> oh, slap me. Right. You did good. All right, good job. Thanks for helping me out today, Hallie. Love you.